Well, hello there. Welcome to the OB4 and Alliance. I'm Jacob. And I'm Luke. And in today's video, we're doing a other episode reaction to a show called Workaholics. And like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Hit the notification bell to be notified. Smash the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. <laughs> So you've cho chosen this show, Luke. Uh, tell the audience why you've chosen this show and why you think it's worthy of reacting to. Okay, so firstly, the reason we're doing this is uh, we've done some reaction videos already, mainly trailers, but then we did do episode reactions and we did Star Wars Visions. So we thought, well, this time, Jacob got me to watch a whole bunch of episodes of Star Wars Visions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Jacob to watch a singular episode of several TV shows that I like. Uh, because I guess Star Wars Visions didn't follow on, so each episode was its own thing. So this is kind of my version of that, by picking different shows. Um, so I picked Workaholics as this is, if not my favourite uh, comedy, it's top five for sure. Uh, the episode I've picked uh, is in season two. Um, I think it might be a bit of fun because it's about the, the main characters feeling like they're not a man and they want to go and do guy stuff to try and make themselves feel a bit more manly. And if you've seen the show, you understand why that's funny because they kind of aren't manly. Like they, they try and do, they do manly things, but they're like, they always get like bullied or beaten up or like people always like, just like they're just, it's, it's hard to explain the characters, but the, it is a very funny show. This episode... I picked because I think Jacob might find it funny. Plus, it's very hard to find episodes of this show, so we were quite limited in the ones we could because they're not on very many streaming services. So this is um, from Season 2. I believe it was Episode 10. So let's get into it. Okay. So we're three minutes into it and you're already laughing. So what do you think so far? Um, I would assume they made her the manly character to be kind of be a stereotype to, um, I know, to be the like rude character, but she's already kind of my favourite character. Yeah, she's a very good character. They, um, the show... <laughs> You'll notice it's so over the top. It is. Like the way she reacted, how he yeah. burst into tears. They they yeah. just over the top, which is what makes it funny. Because they and the fact that they kind of, they they are their characters. Like they they've only slightly changed their names from their real life names. This is based upon loosely what it was like when they became friends. And so and they are really their characters. Like they're they're the the way they go about things is what they would be like in real life, but they've amped it up to the extreme to make it funny. All right, we'll keep going. Okay, so we're more than halfway now, getting <laughs> laughing at it. Yeah, what do you think about the characters so far? Um, I think they're okay, but I think they make things over the top, makes you laugh. I don't know if they're... If one of them is more special than the other one, but I think together they make it more special. Yeah, it's definitely a show where it requires the three of them. But that that's... Funny things happen to them, but the way they react to them makes the show funnier. Yeah. Like, the the actors are very over the top. They're, they're very confident about things that they know nothing about. They yeah. they try dumb things. They just all... Like, they... Throughout the series, they always just... None of them are intelligent, but they each have their own traits. Mm. So, Arnd is the one who just kicked the raccoon and the one with the credit card driving the car. He's meant to be the responsible one. But even he 
is not very responsible. So they each have their unique traits and I think this show typifies how they are, that they want to be, they think they're manly, they always talk about how they know chicks but they never have girlfriends or get with girls in the show but they supposedly know chicks and they just think they're good at everything but they're not good at anything which is funny and this kind of captures that really well of them wanting to be men but not at all knowing how to be men and being confident about things that they're not good at. Mm. So heading to the last bit of the episode. Okay, so finish the episode. What are you? What are your thoughts on? Um, I can still see the appeal to it. Um, I feel like the over the over the topness would get tiresome over the while. I feel like it's comedy that, unlike The Office and Friends, you can continuously watch. I feel like eventually the over the topness would get tiresome over the while. I guess it can be both ways. I think the reverse. I think because they are so funny and over the top that you could continue to rewatch it and still get that shock factor laugh. Mm. Where like something like Friends, I feel like because it's you kind of know the punchline's coming. You go, oh yeah, I remember that one. Where this every time I watch these, I forget the different funny parts that are in it because mm. it is so over the top. Um, but yeah, I guess some the characters could get on someone's nerves, or you could come to love the characters and think everything they do is hilarious. Mm. Uh, would it be a show you could see yourself watching more episodes of? Um, well, I guess because it's hard to stream, it's kind of hard to get into, but I don't know, I guess it's a fine show. Yeah, I think it's one that it doesn't, it's not in an order really, so you could watch it. You could just watch an episode here and there and find it funny. And I think the over-the-topness, you could actually just have... If you had someone come over and you're looking for something to watch, you could put on a random episode and still find it funny. Like, you don't need to fully explain the characters. You don't think, oh, that person's their dad and that's... Their. It's like they're three mates that live together and work together. And it's like, that's all you need to know. And each episode has its own funny topic. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was an introduction to a show that I like that you haven't seen. Um, it looked like you got more laughs out of it than what I got watching other shows um, that you got me to watch, but they weren't funny, though. No. Um, yeah, so we'll, um, we'll do a different show next time. Just got to work out how we can stream the show I've got in mind. Um, Thank you for recommending the show, Luke. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Hope you liked the show that we reacted to. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.